the new talk show of the future, The Chemo Show, starring your host, Chemo. I'm Rose Detroit. Tonight's guest star, Victor Carinos of the band Kingdom Come. Rapper extraordinaire and animal activist, Hush. And welcome back to the GMO show, and I'm your host, GMO. On this show, we have musicians, doctors, lawyers, actors, actresses, all kinds of people on the show. But mostly, we have musicians on the show. Now, we also are running something else soon in the future, and it's going to be we're going to be trying to go into studios across around Michigan area. So, if you're a recording studio and you want to be on the GMO show, drop us a line at www.gmoshow.com, and we'll come check your studio out. You can toot your horn about who you've had in there, what you're doing, what makes you so great, and why everybody should come to you. But right now, I'm going to let our little sidekick, Rose, take it off and, and introduce the guest. On today's show, we have Victor Perinos from the legendary band called Kingdom Come. Oh, cool. Real yeah, cool. Real yeah. cool. We also have animal activist and Detroit rapper called Hush. Oh, yeah. Hush does a great job with yeah. his animal activism. That's great. Right. Can't Takes wait. care of the dogs and everything. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with you? Are you almost done with your music? Yes. Each I'm time working we keep on my reporting new material, that. and I'm working on it, working on it, okay. working on it. A lot of fun. We're doing my videos. Okay. And when they're ready, the team of show people will hear it. Yeah, we'll have Rose on the show. We'll have to interview her, I guess. I'll have to interview you on the show. All right. All right. Well, great. Thanks, Rose. We'll give it to our guests. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Are you a band? Are you a songwriter? Do you own a recording studio and want to be on the GMO show to talk about it? If so, go to www.gmoshow.com and tell them Rose Detroit sent you. Welcome back, everybody, to the GMO show. Like I say, I have musicians and all kinds of talents on the show, but I've had punk rock, rap, reggae, funk, jazz, classical, and I haven't had one of my favorites is progressive rock. Up until now, progressive rock, for all you who don't know, is I guess you could just say it's like Genesis, yes, people who didn't really fit the three chord format, they kind of just went out on a limb and showed how well they could play their instruments and put it in more of a symphonic sense, you know, more, you know, just more dynamics to it than just your regular three and a half minute ditty song. My next guest is a definite aficionado on what progressive rock is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Victor Perinos of Kingdom Come. It's great to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad you could make it, you know. You did it on a short notice, which is really cool. That's great. Well, good. So now, you got some new stuff coming out, yeah. and you cut it in your own recording studio, so uh, what, kind of, oh, yeah. what kind of stuff do you use when you do that? Um, I'm, I use two uh, 24 tracks linked together, and then of course I've got... Two-inch tapes? Um, no, I was oh. using that. I'm using uh, HDR hard disk recorders. Okay, I ask that because, you know, being it's progressive rock, you know, it's back in the day, that's when they used the two-inch tapes and all that. I had one, but, you know, nowadays with the technology, there's just so much you can do with the... And they uh, found a way to make HD kind of warm. Don't they got some programs that give it that warm feel? Right, they do that. They have programs called tapes tape saturation. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. yeah. And ProLogic has it. And ProLogic. Pro -Logic okay. Yeah. All right. So now, when you, when, when you do progressive rock, did I hit it right when I said, what, the, given the description to the audience? Because a lot of people, you know, truly don't know what it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Progressive rock, I would say, yeah, it's more, you go through more changes. The music, you know, whether, mm -hmm. I, I, instead of just going over the same thing. Now, we're going to, we do a couple songs like that, but... You have, you know, timing changes, uh, chordal structures, different yeah. things like that. Yeah, like Yes was really good at the timing changes and right. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah they, they're one of the, I think, all-time greats for that, you know. Now, I, I heard you work with Arthur. Yeah. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, tell me who he is. Well, our, the crazy world of Arthur Brown, he uh, had a hit called Fire, I'm the God of Hell Fire. I'm the God of Hell Fire, and I bring you fire. Right, and, and in a sense, he was the forerunner of progressive rock, really, back really? then. I think, in, in a sense, he was, if you listen to his first albums, a lot of different uh, time signatures and things, and Vincent Crane, at that time, was his keyboard player, who okay. was very good. 
Carl Palmer, who then went wow. with Emerson Lake and Palmer. Emerson, Lake and Palmer. So, you know, which they're sort of like a prog rock classical group, you know, mm -hmm. with Emerson Lake and Palmer. And then working with all those people, you've been over to Europe quite a lot, right? Uh, yeah, I went over there and lived in the, in, during the 70s, and mm -hmm. that's when I met Arthur. In fact, that was the first, he quit calling it Arthur, Crazy World of Arthur Brown and went into Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come. Okay. And then okay. we did the first album together that had a drum machine on it, actually. Oh, really? That was actually recorded the whole Which album. Which drum machine did you use? It was a thing called the Ace Bentley. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Right. You right. know, yeah. now you look, you use extensive synthesis. I am a synthesis nut. I've come from using ARP Omnis, ARP Avatars, uh, Roland, you name it. And Sonic, I've seen it. You know, I've, I've worked with the majority of them. Now, what are you working with now? Um, I've got the uh, uh, Elisa's Andromeda, okay. and then I still have like my Mini Moog. I have the uh, old four voice Oberheim, if mm. you remember that one. Oh, the Oberheim! The I forgot all about Oberheim. Yeah, I got yeah. the old. I call it the casket. Big, big, big okay. black thing. Okay. Um, and then I still have my, which was sort of the, the, the first forerunner of the synth, was the VCS-3 Putney. I remember hearing about that. Yeah, I never, uh, never got my hands on one. No, the only other people that used one a lot was Eno from Roxy Music. Okay. Then, and uh, we used to always get together. They used to hang that. with all these cats over there, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You lived down the street from David Bowie and yeah, stuff? Yeah, David, Angie used to come over all the time, wow. bring bottles of champagne. That is cool. I mean, I'm jealous of that. Yeah. I mean, that would, be, that would be so cool. You're sitting in a part of this Jagger and Bowie. and yeah. You know, it was nothing to have a scene like that. That's what I want to create here in Detroit. I want all the cats to be hanging out together, mm -hmm. you know? Not just one night at some, you know, awards show. I want, I want cats to start, well, you should find a place. Some yeah, send me suggestions where we can find a place where all the cool cats in the music business around the Detroit area can hang and exchange and, and become big we because, you know, this Michigan, uh, there's a big push right now with the Michigan. Right. And I'm hoping this will be the show to pull it all together. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. You know, have it all at the, over at the Royal Oak Music Theater. That would be awesome. Yeah. Be a, a, a twice a month thing. Yeah, I've got an interesting story about Hendrix. About H Jimmy? Yeah. yeah. We, uh, well, back in the day, I was managed by um, Dave Sinclair, and then Jan Sinclair okay. managed the um, MC5, of course. Right. And we opened, uh, we did a gig where we, he opened at Masonic, for him at Masonic Temple. Okay. So we yeah. sort of met each other, the Masonic thing, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I ended up going to Woodstock. Oh, wow. So uh, somehow I ended up getting there, I was backstage, standing there waiting, and Jimmy walks out, this was because he played early in the morning that, that day, and uh, yeah. he walks out, and I seen him, we sort of recognized each other, and said hello, and we partaked in a little partaked bit of... Partaked in a little Denver action, A huh? little Denver action there. <laughs> Denver, Colorado, if Colorado. anybody knows what's going on in the news, yeah. you know what we're talking about. And Soon to be here in Michigan, hey, yeah. what do you know? <laughs> and uh, then he walked on shortly after that, after we left the trailer, and... Whipped out Star Spangled wow. Banner, and that you was know his like studio, amazing. Electric Ladyland, still kicking butt out in New yeah. York. It's like like one of the highest end studios still. Yeah. You know, Do you have a, a website you want to uh, look at the camera and, and um, give your website? You know, I just I'm on the Facebook thing, Victor Prano's. You know, on Facebook. Uh, Victor, Victor Prano's, Prano's Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come, yeah. Okay. And you know that's that. I really haven't put together some big website or anything like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now talk about these. Which ones? Um, this one is. That one uh, was released on Black Widow Records, which is a, a, a very progressive Italian label out of Ooh. Geneva, Italy. Okay. And then the black and white one, they took it and put it out in, uh, in Japan. So that's a release oh, wow. that's in Japan. He's a world-renowned artist, everyone. That's really cool. And I love vinyl. Vinyl's yeah. real cool. And then Black Widow also pressed it up in vinyl. And there's also a 7-inch inside there. Oh, wow. So okay. they, 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 Italy really does a lot of nice things. In fact, they have the new album coming out with uh, Arthur's actually singing on it, and he does some amazing And Arthur vocals. was in town not too long ago. I, darn, if yeah. I don't know that, I got him on last show. Yeah. That would have been great. Yeah, well, we were in working on a new album together. One so more thing. Uh, have you lived in Michigan all your life? Um, off and on, yeah. Off and on, okay. I lived in L.A., I lived in London, and you okay. know, in Italy for a while. But you're back in Michigan now. I'm back in Michigan some for a while. Cool. Yeah. Maybe we'll have your studio on. I know you got a real nice one. Okay. Well, That's Victor, good. thank you very much for being on the show. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Paranus from Kingdom Come. Awesome. He's going to perform right now.
I heard through the grapevine that the GMO show is the hottest show in town, and you can be a guest on it if you'd like. Just go to www.gmoshow.com and tell them Rose Detroit sent you. Welcome back to the GMO Show. And now we have Victor Pareto and Kingdom Come. Victor's going to introduce the band members. Well, on guitar, we got Jeff Faust on bass, Skid Mark, and Jim Pryor on drums, and myself here for you, Victor. Okay, guys, show everybody what progressive rock is all about.
and welcome back to the GMO Show. Tonight I have an animal activist, hot rapper, one of the best in Detroit. Everybody knows him by one name, four letters. You can say four letters, right? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him. I'm glad you picked the right four letters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're talking about rap, you never know. That's very true. That's very true. And you can use that now, you know what I'm saying? I, I could. A four-letter word. I'm going to give you credit in my next album <laughs> just because cool. of that. That's cool. So now, I'll start off with the animal activism. How did you get involved with that and what, what got you motivated to do that? Well, I was uh, originally trying to get some music placed uh, on TV. I met a friend uh, who was a supervisor and producer on some reality shows. And she came up with a show that was based around the urban survival of stray dogs. Uh, okay. She got it sold to Discovery Channel. Um, I was hired as the location manager since I was living here. Besides right. trying to get my music on it, sure. she, got, she, she gave me a job. And um, unfortunately, six to eight months later, the city of Detroit shut the show down. Oh. And then, uh, but the new administration's f more friendly towards that, don't you think? I'm yeah, yeah, I, I, th I think so because, uh, you know, I've spent the last three years pretty much exposing the problem okay. and yeah. trying to get the administration to take notice to, you know, how the animal control actually yeah, is working. Yeah, because, I mean, in Detroit, it's starting to turn around with people like you, and the musicians have been, for the last five years, have been saying, it's in the D, we're in the D, in the D. I think it's all starting to finally, we're all starting to say, we're all saying the same thing, so there's going to be a gel together somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's in the stars or something like that. But with the new administration coming in Detroit, that was the best move for Detroit in itself. You know, we'll get some city lights on. Sure, you know? for sure. we get the dogs are getting taken care of. You know, not just, they're not, and now you're animal rescued it's a none of the dogs get put down none of them it's a it's a we're a non-profit okay um it's called detroit dog rescue um and our whole goal is to you know take care of uh pick the dogs up off the street get them rehabilitated and get mm -hmm. them back into loving homes you know that's beautiful that's really cool cause yeah. I, so what's going on with your new your latest stuff what do you got going on with that well, I've been working on, uh, I've got a new album that I've been working on. It's called Danny Boy, um, The Life and Times of a Kid in the D. Okay. Um, this is going now to... you actually grew up in Detroit, yeah? Absolutely. I'm an East Sider. Okay. Um, grew up, born and raised. That's right. Um, um, and this is like my, this is like my third time around. I, I've reinvented my music. Okay. Um, I came out. You know, around 2003, um, 2002, with an album called Roses and Razor Blades that really okay. took off. Got now, me a lot you know, of notice. When you reinvented yourself, what, what did you take a slant to the right, to the left, or more hard or light? Yeah, or? well, you know, when I first came out, my, my, I was very hip hop. I was very, you know, my roots are such so embedded in Detroit hip hop. I, you know, I came well, you up were in with the, begin, the, with the whole M beginning steam with M and, uh -huh. you know, and all yeah, that. Yeah, Slum Village and, and right. all those guys. And D12 Proof and, and all that. Yeah. Staying out till five in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and those, them guys sleeping on my couch and uh, <laughs> us recording in my basement and. Welcome to the life of musicians. Absolutely, yeah. and uh, but yeah, you know, it's it was it was rooted in in the the heart of underground Detroit hip hop, and then I had a national release that came out, and it was more polished. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I went independent, I kind of took the rock hip hop okay. route. But my new album is more uh, it's more R and B, hip hop, oh, okay. funk, soul. Yeah. Um, it's it's just a, it's a real comfortable route for me. It's v it's very clean. It's very um, positive. Okay. Um, where a lot of my older material has been, you know, about struggle and about pain, and, and you know, right. you, you go through certain things. But this is just you know my uh, um. You well, know, it's, as, it's you more know, mature. That's what I think. You know, music is art. You know, if if people are, you know everybody's influenced by somebody. Oh God, yeah. You know. Yeah. You hear something good and you want to turn it into something else. That's what hip hop is born out of. You yeah, know, I mean, sure. taking songs like Apache and, you know, and turning that into something, you know, by Sugar Hill Gang. You know, I haven't heard anybody, uh, you know, there's some certain bands I have never heard get sampled and used in hip hop like the Stones or Floyd or. Because they cost know. too much money. Is that the reason why? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Pink okay. Floyd, Stones, you try to clear their samples. Oh, my God. You're asking for, you know, $100,000 and all of your publishing gone on that song. Wow. They'll take change. Okay. All right. So you uh, you have a website, right? You want I do. to look at the camera and give it to sure. them? Sure. Um, you can uh, check us out on the web at 313hush.com or detroitdogrescue.com. Cool. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, just give to the Detroit Dog Rescue and, you know, check out Hush's new stuff. It's awesome. I've checked it out. I love it. Can't wait to have him on here and doing it. So. Great. All right, man. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the GMO Show. Up now is the hush. Yes, sir. Uh. Yeah. It's my boy Stray in the house. What up, y'all? Danny Boy Records in the building. We're going to do this for the GMO Show. Let's run that. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ready? Uh. Fly. Yeah. Rock with us, y'all. You can feel it already, right? Uh. Uh. Tell them what you are, bro. Check it. Uh. The green eyed bandit. Status off the hook They say I've come a long way from looking like a crook I say I've never changed So if this is true The old me is chasing at me in my rear view Girls working out Getting bodies tight Pilates night yoga class Bacardi and Sprite I hope you know this That stuff is a bonus Because I'm so focused My flow is ferocious Getting better with time Getting cheddar to rhyme Ever gave a leper a bag of a dime I remember wearing zips, who designed this? Now I'm wearing Gucci, having sushi with the finest. D-Town, the gate of capital. Autobiographical and fashion is laughable. We take it serious, it's a lifestyle. See me smile, boy, look at my police file. Fresh dressed like a million bucks. Superman, super high, it's a bird, it's a plane. I'm so fly, so fly. Uh, say what? So fly, we are so fly. Get your passports up, put your seat back, clouds pass by, switch your lanes in the sky, so, uh-huh, say what, we are, murder mirror squad, you got a facade, looking kinda odd on your period, I'm a hood dude, in a good mood, Adiamo hit the spot for some good food, see I like a filet, you like a buffet, I'm throwing money away, you throw a bouquet, I'm so fly I can barely breathe vertical, even as a star every flow is submersible, narcissistic, bizarre statistic, I'm the shit you dip shit, you dip in a fish stick, I'm one of the top picks and top picks, you ain't fly, you just sit in a cockpit, and I ain't talking plain seats, but I'm first class. Uh, if you took a step back, I reverse pass. Yeah. I exert class. Turn up the volume. Volume, volume, volume. Yeah. So fly. So fly. Fresh dressed like a million bucks. Superman, super high. It's a bird. It's a plane. I'm so fly. Say what? So fly. Say what? So fly. We are. So fly. Get your passports up, put your seat back, clouds pass by, switch your lanes in the sky, so, say what, I am, we are, learn this, polo that, burn rubber hat, middle finger to the sky, I'm, say what, I am, we are, I got a sore right, Check my wingspan, for me to expand, gotta have a game plan. For me it's too easy, I need some city time. Some headphones are listening to every biggie rhyme. Uh, Take a look up and catch the sun rays. I'm heading one way, taking off a runway. Whether coach class or in a G5. A space shuttle of the hover, homie, I'm so, uh, so fly. So fly. Tell them, dog. Yeah. Just like a million bucks, Superman, super high, it's a bird, it's a plane, I'm so fly. Say what? So fly. I am so fly. We are so fly. Yeah, get your passports up, put your seat back, clouds pass by, switch your lanes in the sky, so, so fly. Say what? So fly. I am We are so fly. Gucci this yeah. Polo that burn rubber hat, middle finger to the sky, I'm so fly, so fly so fly, cause I'm doper than average, it's that fly joint, yeah, so fly on the GMO show, so fly, yeah, that was Hush, great job Hush, thanks for being on the show. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching the GMO show. Stay tuned because we have more shows coming. We have 
all kinds of interesting guests that are going to be coming on real soon. And you're going to love that what we bring. And also, we're going to be branching on to some more cities. So if you go to www.gmoshow.com, you can follow us on the Internet and see how we're growing and growing and growing. Until then, stay tuned and take care. Thank you.